Hey, DIY is by Dar. This is under a hundred dollar challenge by Henson Home Furnishings. Here is the table that I started with. It was free. Pretty bad looking. And it had sides that folded down, which was really cool for a table. So, scrubbing bubbles. I know sometimes I just can't help myself. I gotta spray it down and spray the scrubbing bubbles on and give it a good wash and rinse it off. Then, if the sun is out nice and bright, and I know that this is gonna dry rather quickly, I will attempt to do this. This table was pretty grubby. Well, I wasn't sure if it had really th uh, thin veneer or really thick lacquer. So I decided to go ahead and use some stripper just on the top to take that first layer of lacquer off just to make it a little bit easier for myself. So that's what we're gonna do. Of course, I covered it with some old bags that I kind of ripped open and I left this sit on here for 20 minutes. It was a pretty warm day out. go we're going to start scraping this heavy sludge off and it was pretty thick and heavy Well, now it's time to really scrub this down with some mineral spirits on an old towel. I wanted to get as much off as I could to get rid of all that sticky before I hit it with the sander. I'm using the surf prep with just the flat pad and a hundred grit sandpaper here. Now I, I changed the paper out and you can really see the difference here and change it out when you need to because all you're doing is grinding that dirt in once that pad gets loaded up that paper gets loaded up on the bottom. First round, that's what we've got. Now I'm going to use my skill sander with the fingertip attachment. I make my own little pieces of um, sandpaper to go on there. I just cut it. And this is what it's really great for getting in all them tiny little grooves. Sometimes when you're using something like this, it's better to put it in place first then start it, and then you don't get so much of that jumping. Here is how I actually cut it. I just put a piece on there, and I'll go ahead and flip it over and cut the points, and then 
shape it down to size. What I want is I want a little bit to fold up around the edge. You can see how worn that tip is. When I put it on there, I just want enough that it's going to cover up the side of that um, attachment. Then this sanding right here, this is like a waterfall um, end before it goes down to that rounded molding part. So when you have that sandpaper folded up like that, you can get that straight edge and then you can get the bottom. This really had some thick lacquer and stain in it and it was quite fun to get out. I was sanding for a few days. I had such a time with it, I actually had to take the hand scraper out, but you know, you always have to be careful with these uh, stainless steel carbide type scrapers, but it did the trick. I really needed to get down in that groove and then hit it one more time with the sander. As you can see, it looks pretty good. And of course, I had to go back and do some hand sanding. Well, I wanted to put Odie's oil and Odie's wax on this piece. You can see the difference in the color of the wood. The little uh, fold down extensions are so red and the rest of the wood is white. I'm not really sure what happened here, if this is different wood that they use. When I did the bottom, um, I set it up on some little stilts just so nothing would stick on the bottom. With Odie's oil, you use a little uh, scrubby pad and you wanna just use it sparingly and go in small little circles and work that oil into that wood. Here you can see the real difference in the color of that wood. I, I'm not really sure. I'm thinking that maybe it is a oak table. If anybody has any ideas for me, let me know. Um, this table, um, you could take the leaves uh, off, which I discovered I had to to get in the little uh, crevice where it folds down. And the only other way that you could take it apart it was like two pieces. You'd, you'd had to take the screws out of the whole bottom and the whole bottom would lift off the top. I opted to just leave it and work with it pretty much together. After 45 minutes, go ahead and wipe off any of that excess oil that you see, then you need to wait 24 hours if you are going to put another coat on, which I did want to. This wood really needed a nice drink. Before I did that, I wanted to put the leaves back on, and you can see the bottom, how they stay up. It's just a simple um, lever that goes underneath the table to hold it up. And I got this really cool little, I don't I want to really call it a drill because you can't back things out but you can screw things in and it's quite handy and small for my little hands. Here goes the second coat now that we have it all back together. Second verse, same as the first.
After that dries again for 45 minutes, you buff it off. Now, you need to wait 48 hours before you put the Odie's wax on, and I didn't show that process, but it's pretty much the same. You put it in and you wait two hours, then you go back and um, you buff it off. Now, what they tell you to do is run your fingers across, and if you leave uh, finger streaks, then you know you have not buffed it off enough. I wanted a little interest on this piece, so I went and got these decals with lily pads and flowers. I thought it would be really, really pretty together. My first time putting a decal on glass, it is a little bit different. Um, it seems like maybe the decal stretches a bit and you, you're more apt to get little tiny bubbles under there. So I tried to take it as straight on as I could and start from the center and just get that initial stick going on for yourself before you get back to them edges. And you really have to hit it hard. I would say it took me 15 to 20 minutes to get this flower on. If it starts to peel, you need to put it back down and then hit it with your burnishing stick again in, until it sticks. There we go, only five more to finish. I just pressed it down all the way around just to make sure that that connection was good. I could not find any information about sealing a, a transfer on top of glass. Basically, they just give the information of leaving it the way it is and just wiping it gently with a towel when you need to clean that tabletop. If anybody has any other information on what to put on glass if you use a transfer, please let me know. Leave it in the comments for me. I couldn't find any info on it. Just trying to work some of those air bubbles out. There were a couple in there. Which could mean disaster. It could bubble up and the whole thing could lift up. Here's what I started with.
shout out to Henson Home Furniture for the $100 challenge. I spent $30. Like, subscribe. Thanks for watching.